Shalom, Shalom. I'm back again. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kodash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations, much love and respect to you. I came out there pushing this word out in truth and sincerity. Now, this is going to be uh, an adv some advice for you women, okay? You women out there that are claiming to be in the truth. Here's some advice for you. We, being in the truth, we are going opposite to the world. So the world is, is swimming downstream, we're swimming upstream. We are going completely opposite to this world. All right? And we can say that. Now, dealing with you women, all right? When you look out into the world, these, these women of the world, they're trying to find reasons to add pride to themselves. What do I mean by that? Let's say someone has, let's say you, ha you're having, you have a baby, right? You, you women have babies, okay? You women have babies. You women are, were created to be incubators. You women were created to, uh, to nourish a seed inside of your womb. Right now, they would use that to say, See, I give you life, I give life. All right, without us, there would be no life, you wouldn't be here. Cool. So, they're using that to add pride unto themselves when they could use that to add humility to themselves, which Yahweh Shimmy Al Shai likes humility, he hates pride. Okay. He hates pride in men. How much more does he hate pride in women? The scriptures say that a woman should be shamefaced. Tells you that in the New Testament. Right? But you go down to the black Christian church, the women are the, the loudest ones in the church. They're the ones telling, uh, you know, giving orders to men. Okay? You see? So instead of adding pride to yourself, why not look at that? For example, I'm giving the example of the um, giving birth. Why not look at that as, oh, we, we, we went off, Eve went off, so now we have birth pains, okay? Because we're, we're wicked, all right? That's the bottom line, okay? What makes you righteous, what makes somebody righteous is not even, not the law, okay? What makes them righteous is their, uh, is the, their faith and their intent in the sight of Yahweh by Shimei Yahweh Shai. All right? So you women should be practicing to be humble. You women should be practicing humility. You should look at all these different aspects of the earth. How, how you're, you're looked down upon in the earth um, amongst women, okay? Especially you, especially you, you, you uh, Judah Benjamin and Levite women, okay? But even you so-called Latino woman, right? The, 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 the Edomite woman looks down on you, okay? So you should take that and say, yeah, we messed up. That's why we're in this position. Okay? Why do you have to wear a down weave on your head? Let's get down to the... Why do you so-called black women got to wear a weave on your head? Because the, the Lord smite... He said he would smite the crown of the daughters of Zion for their pride. For their haughtiness. And, and, you, and you women still ain't learned from that. You, you, the black woman got more proud. She didn't humble down. She got more proud and more demonic. And what did he? What? Did, what was some of the curses? Funk. All right, that stink, stink box. All right. The stinkiness, the mustiness. Okay. Then, then you got the weave, man. And that's not sanitary. I, man, I hate that weave thing, man. That's not sanitary. It looks better with the natural. It looks better in the afro. It looks better in the, you know. 
It just looks better natural, period. But no, you gotta wear this down, weave, glue, weave to your head. But then you're on top of that, you don't use that to say, you know what, let me, let me be humble. No, no, I know what I deserve and this and that. You, you've done, you done went overboard with the pride now. The Edomite woman, you done pass, you passed the, the Edomite woman in pride already. The Edomite woman, you know what proves that? The first woman I seen catering to a, a so-called black man was an Edomite woman. Okay? I'm talking about when her husband came home clipping his, his toenails and his, and his fingernails. All right, making sure she put on makeup for him when when she comes home. She wasn't putting on makeup when, so when she went out, and she's probably an Israelite, by the way. She's probably an Israelite, but she looks like an Edomite, okay? Put a, when he comes home, she puts on makeup so she looks good for him when he gets back from work. No, make sure he has a, a home-cooked meal, silent, loving. I seen that from a so-called Edomite woman on that on that, uh, with, with, no, I'm saying a so-called white woman, man. She, she, she's probably an Israelite. She's probably one of us, man. Okay. That's the first time I seen that, man. I was blown away. On that, on that show, uh, trading spouses, right, or trading places, whatever it was called, where they used to swap wives and all that, right? And, and the wife would go into one house, and the other wife would go into the other house. And that was the only episode where there was nothing wrong with the house. The house was in complete order. That's why I believe I could never find that episode. The house was in complete order because the wife was in complete order. All right? And also the, ch the children were in order too. That house was in 100%. It was harmony in that house. So there was really nothing to change. That was the only episode I seen where there was absolutely nothing that they could find find that was needed to change in the house. All right. So you done passed, you done surpassed the Edomite woman in pride already. Way, way surpassed it. So my advice is this. Learn, find ways to, to, to be humble. Find, find things that can make you humble. Don't look at it to add pride to yourself. Oh, I got a, I got a, I got a good job. To why do you help? I should be out shot. I know, you know. I know, I know. The Lord could have just had me on. The, I deserve to be on the street. That's how we all should be looking at this thing, man. Because we, what we sinned against our power, man. So that's my advice to you women. Find things to make you humble. Don't be, brothers tell you don't comment on the comment board. Nah, 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 nah. You, you making, you writing 10 paragraphs on the comment board. Every comment, is, you gotta put your thoughts into it, man. There's a particular person I'm thinking about right now. Every time I see the comments, you always gotta put her thoughts into this, man. How much times the apostles done said, and the brethren done said, we don't need to hear all that talking, man. The, the, for the, you sisters, you, you sisters that are doing the right thing, shalom to you. Y'all by shit me out with shot broke a thumb to you sisters that are trying to do the right thing. Okay? And you, you know, you leave your little, your shalom, shalom to water, edifying lesson. You, you know, your emojis. You know? Very, very short messages. But the other one, when you do that, when you know, you know damn well you done heard the apostles and brethren say don't do that. But you know why? You just need that attention. Because of that pride, man. Because of that pride, man. All right? With no, not knowing that you can't... That attention can't feed you in a famine. All right? If you're not doing the right thing by Elba Shimmy I was shy. that attention can't feed you in a famine. It can't quench your thirst. All right? And it can't save you from the sword. You understand? So let that be, let that be a message... To you women, man. I don't, I don't gotta say no more. I think the point, the point was made, man. The point was made. Okay. Find humility. With that, I'll say shallow one.